As well as panels, OptiCut can optimise bar materials, for example wooden mouldings, steel beams, and PVC or aluminium extruded materials for doors and windows. In this video we'll manually set up a stock of steel beams, add parts and optimise them for cutting from that stock. We'll also see how any reusable offcuts can be added back into our stock. First we'll create our bar material. Go to the stock menu, then bar materials, to see a list of the materials already set up. Click on new, and let's give our material a name, RSJ120 by 120. For quality we'll add zinc as it's zinc coated. The price will set to 50. Now we could set up a square or rectangular profile and input a width and height. But in this case we're going to import a shape that we've already made in a CAD program and saved as a DXF file. Click on Customised, then the DXF Import button, select the file, then click OK to import the H-shaped profile for our steel beam. Before we finish, let's take a look at the symmetry setting. This tells OptiCut whether or not the parts can be flipped. If they have angled ends, it allows us to create a better optimization and save more material, as we'll see later. The default allows us to flip across any axis. Uh, we'll leave this selected. Click OK to add this material. Now we'll add the stock of our new material. Click on the Stock menu, Edit Bars, and New. Our bar stock is 6.2 metres long, so we'll add that here. The reference will be RSJ 120 by 120. Quantity will set to 100. Priced 50. And for material, we'll select our new material from the drop down menu. Finally, let's say these beams come with a rough cut, so we'll add a trim cut of 10 millimeters. Click OK and our stock is set up. Now let's add a cutting list of parts for optimization. Click on the new bar cutting list icon. In the empty cutting list window, select new and we'll start adding our parts. The length here is 560 millimeters. Quantity is 50. Material is our RSJ material and it has a 45 degree angle on the left and a minus 30 degree angle on the right. Let's add two more groups of parts. Parts of length 12 30 millimeters and a quantity of 10 with a 35 degree angle on the left minus 20 on the right and also 45 degrees in the other axis on the left. We can rotate the part to view the angles here. And finally, 950 millimeters in length, 15 parts this time, and a 45 degree angle on the left. With our cutting list complete, we'll go straight into the optimization. Click on the optimize button and we'll see the results on screen. We've got a one dimensional cutting pattern for each bar that was used from our stock. Let's click on the 3D icon to view the cuts in more detail. We can change the face as well. Let's click through all the bars here. And on the left we can see the cutting sequence, which includes the cut location and angle for each cut. We can see that the parts have been flipped as necessary to make best use of the material. Let's click into the stock now and we can see our 100 bars. Now we'll click on Deduction to remove the bars we've just used from our stock. Going back in, we can see the quantity has reduced. And we've also added in our reusable offcuts from this optimization, which are now available for a future project. Here's the 4 meter offcut, which is shown on screen here too. As usual, these cutting patterns along with an optimization report can be printed off. Labels are available too, and OptiCut Pro PP includes a range of outputs to run your CNC saw. We've looked at a manual setup here. It's also possible to import bar parts from a spreadsheet or CSV file, or directly from Polyboard. Thanks for watching.